I have already celebrated Sabrina Carpenter and 10,000 points. That's a glitch because last time we talked about quantity versus quality. That was the breakdown of her emails I can send album. I have made 13 torn episodes, realizing that the last one was uh, Taylor Swift's latest album, Supervillain, alongside with Ariana. That's what they are right now. Releasing shit music. Hopefully, Sabrina Carpenter does not release shit music, even though I have zero tracks in Peace Pop. I want to bring up Peace Pop because I can barely show you guys. Here you go, Expresses in 4. And uh, it's a... Sometimes this website asks me to... Hey, disable ad blocker. Fuck you, bro. I don't even care. But for some reason, other people care. And Sabrina is like the only person that I sort of recognize. No one recognizes who Billie Eilish is. I'm just saying... Until Marshmallow, I don't give a fuck about that. All right. Nope. Featuring, I don't know who. So I recognize Eminem, guys. I don't have to mention it over and over again, but this is filled with rap music and country music. It's American bullshit that I don't want to deal with right now. This is why I focus on pop stars. Sexy pop stars in this case. Because that's what it is. Like, I could care, I could be the quality man, but I'm very distant from whoever lives in America, right? Meeting is distance they have to pay for. They have to look much better than fucking local girl that has no talent, has no desire to even talk to me. But in this case, there's a whole internet of uh, people singing, not just talking. And people looking pretty and stuff. Of course I'll be spending time here. And be very invested. And we probably are talking about hot people right now. That taste. I don't know, man. That That's the vibe. Like, she's the sexiest she ever been. And she has this spicy spotlight from Espresso. From doing even more sexy things on the beach. And going viral with it. It's kind of fascinating. That's her new look. Who knows how long it's gonna last, because it never lasts long. No pop star has ever, you know, retained sexiness for too long. Like, it's impossible. But that's her phase, while everyone else, all the major pop stars, which is Ari, Selena, and Taylor, are going through, like, dark phases in their lives. And we get a little bit of sunshine, actually. And we get to listen to the... What's gonna turn into uh, the music video? Of course, everyone's interested in that. What do we have? Ten tracks? Again, I don't anticipate these things. They just appear in my subscription box. And I immediately talk about it. Because uh, me as a fan, me as a subscriber, I care. And I already have a series of uh, doing that. This one took me two hours. I used to make longer videos, but I reduce the quantity and I try to improve the quality. So people give me views because views feel good. Views feel like someone was forced to care because they accidentally clicked the wrong button, basically, you know. And I talk about really dark shit immediately. I talk about teeth. Do you want to lose six of your teeth? Or do you want to have low quality teeth, which is a lot worse? I would say low quality is a lot worse. It's something that people don't want to deal with. They don't want to deal with low quality content of any kind. People don't click on that shit. They want a good thumbnail, a good introduction. Everything has to be good. And at some point they drop off their interest. Not good enough for them. Time is precious after all. But I really want to sit through and do a recap because I'm very interested of what I used to talk about. It's gonna be Here you go, I increased quality of my video, so now you watch it more. Sabrina, distinct personality of Earth and Fire. Basically, Earth extrovert or thinker extrovert. I am thinker introvert. So chances are it's gonna be a deep topic. 
despite Sabrina being sexy and whatnot. I'm telling you, it was weird. We celebrated Sabrina's 10,000 of influence, because that's the shit that cares, that matters. And it's one of the only 30 minute videos where I try to reduce the quantity. But let's see what I have in store in here, just to remind myself. Because uh, old shit still matters to me. Yeah, I open up with the thief problem, which I still have, but I was able to curve a little bit. I don't like washing my teeth, but there's a fucking mouthwash that does not involve brushing and actually damaging your teeth anyways. This just uh, solves everything. The convenience problem, and unwanted toothpaste purchases. Like, it's just, everything is so much more convenient to the point where, like, yes, and now I can clean my teeth finally. And if anything goes wrong, I can still enjoy soup. Why am I bringing this up? Who the fuck knows? Sabrina Carpenter is more prettier than me. And I have problems, and I have to be honest. You know? I keep it to for but it doesn't matter what bad things happen to you, it's still an experience, it's a unique experience. You are better of a person, a bigger person, because you have unique experiences. The next video, but you literally... It doesn't matter whether they are good or bad, you can twist them into just being proud of who you are. Distracted. People are actually using quantity to uh, keep up the good hygiene. They're not using quality to keep up good hygiene. Because quality is whenever you really need something, that's quality. When something comes at the right time in your life. A shower once a week sometimes is better than, when, than showering every single day because you're just panicking. You're just panicking. You just want to be clean entirely and forget about it. But uh, that might not be the best way to do it. That's the funny thing to be honest. The answers to the universe are not always obvious, but they're fucking funny. Because <laughs> uh, if you want quantity in your life, if you want every day to be fresh and happy and all that, you have to put so much effort for quantity. When it comes to quantity in uh, YouTube videos, do I have to put a lot of effort technically? I have to guarantee effort. That's the funny thing. I have to guarantee. I have to brush teeth every day, so to speak. But in this case, upload videos every day. Non-stop. It's a fucking marathon, to be honest. It's a very exhausting way of life. And these are not PewDiePie videos. This is not just me reacting to memes. I need to learn maximum speed about everything. I just decided that's what I want to be. Quality comes later. Quality is something you learn as you're doing quantity. Right? Well, if we're talking about hygiene, you actually have to suppress quantity to find quality. Find that perfect moment that solves the problem. The perfect way of doing things that's like convenient and does not require quantity of effort anymore. And one of those good things that beats quantity is when you release music. Just releasing music is quality, and I never really talked about it this way. I have not talked about just the simple fact that... Uh, you could just be doing podcasts, but women choose to do the quality when it comes to self-expression because they have the quantity of upkeeping themselves. So they want to balance it itself out by releasing something quality related, which happens to be music. It happens to be the easiest thing technically, but it's not easy to be on the top, not easy to make good music. Sabrina is kind of like average. And I don't care about average that much. 
If this album has something above average, I'll be very impressed. I'll be surprised. Evil in this case. It's yeah, it's uh, it gets better. It's level one versus level two, and this keeps going up. I was able to pinpoint the third level and potentially the fourth level. This is fascinating to me. It's too, you just if something has qual quantity, you can turn it into quality. You can squeeze the juice out of it. And uh, it's hard listening to my own rambling. I'm not going to lie, but I want to go through this first. That's the first thing I want to do. The juicy parts, the rewards for watching this video. You, I mean, you already have it. You can listen to it yourself. I'm just going to squeeze the meaning out. Maybe it's meaningless. Maybe I just found my own thing that I want to focus on. Didn't just tease. Who uh, knows what world. happens? Just just trying to appeal to quality is better. Hands down, quality is better because that's what people care about more. But there's even higher levels that people care even more about. It's just everyone knows that number one, whoever gets gold medal, whoever is the winner of something, will be cared for, will uh, deserve a spotlight to showcase how they achieved such greatness, such powerful talent. Of course, if you have high quality, people will increasingly pay attention to you. And you can just have high, highest quality within your area. And still, you're going to be the talk of the town, technically. You can just open up a business. And that's quality because you have products that other people need, that other people don't have, or they have to replenish themselves with your products. This is something to really think about. It's almost like the hidden elements of uh, meaning, which is something I, I've been searching for and I just bumped into it. I love it. Then the reason why I do quantity, why I didn't care of like whether I'm uploading two hour video, whether I'm rambling too much and it's all random bullshit. Well, at least I will understand it when I look back to it. Every time I get success, people will look back to my work and find something they can turn into quality. Someone else can do it. I don't have to go all the way. I don't have to climb by myself making sure that everything is uh, quality assured. You don't have to do that. You just have to live your fucking life. You just have to quantify everything that you're doing, make it exist, and that's it. That's the minimum amount of effort that will still make you successful. You will still be successful. You will still be happy. You know, whatever you need is going to come to your life. And most importantly, you're going to be ready to fight against all the evils. Because you quantified yourself and the evil got to fucking do anything productive in the first place. It's anything is, there's a third one. There's a third one that I do. My strategy is completely different. Quantity and quality. You would, you would say Gurnix, but you're doing the quantity thing. And I would say, I also do the quality thing. But you don't see it until I click this button right here. Now you see the quality thing as well. There's no, no quantity here, guys. No quantity. Every time I make a... Add a new line of that is uh groundbreaking that's fucking mind-bending knowing that programming is quality because it stays there forever it's insurance that everything works together very nicely it's its own ecosystem that is deep i hit myself with that insight holy shit i'm impressed Code. let's keep going i mean not just that much more and everyone can download it for free so Yep. Well, pretty high quality, bigger quality. That's the funny thing. Not only I have quality, but I can keep improving it. I use it every day. Like it's yeah, wonderful. So that means I am very close to third level. Not just these two levels, but a third level that I did not disclose yet. Uh, but I'm gonna reveal it a little bit later, guys. Let's go. Mom. Yeah. It was back in the day where my mom refused to use a tablet, and I shoved it in her face. Improving her life. Like, you should be looking for ways to improve your life as much as possible. 
You can quantify yourself by owning more property. I hope that helps. You still have to live in one fucking location regardless. We, yeah, I guess you can run around from location to location in case one location sucks for the time being, but I don't know how you can conjure up seasons to suck in every location differently. I don't know, man. Owning property ain't the thing. Owning many things ain't a thing. That's quantity right there. Being rich is quantity. That's not quality. Being rich is ain't quality. Quality is skills. Quality is establishing yourself. Money is quantity because you can have as much money as you fucking want. But the moment you leap into quality, people will start caring about you. And uh, you might be actually shy because you have so much money. This is fascinating layers of just something, some meaningful shit. And there's a third layer. So wouldn't you want to stick around and find out? Because I want to. Now I'm impressed by myself. You don't have to do that. everything. You know, completed. The reason why I'm so happy reacting to my own video is because that's what I wanted to do deep down. And I have a chance to do it. Emails I can send. <laughs> I can't. Fuck! She glitched again. I can't send this email because nobody wants it. Fucking losers. Please read my email. <laughs> it is very scary. Like, I'm unlocking more viewership, but I only unlocking more demons. More shitty fucking people in the comment section crying of how terrible I am. You know, they're trying to project that I'm the evil person instead of them. That they did something really uh, beautiful for society. I wonder what that is. You know, because artist always wins. You can never demonize a fucking artist. What are you doing? You're gonna always lose. It's 100% lose rate against an artist. Artist knows what to do to improve quality. You can't just quantify the the amount of fucking muscles that you have, the amount of friends that you have, how quickly you can dial 911 against someone else because the speed matters too, of how quickly you can call police on someone, how quickly you can carry them into, you know, uh, aggression. All of these things are quantities, unfortunately. How fast you can buy off someone to shut the fuck up because they shouldn't be talking about Mr. Beast drama. When it comes to quality, when it comes to the artist level, now we're talking about something completely different. Something an NPC cannot defeat. So the only thing they can do is just ignore you or trash you as a personality of like, you don't deserve to make art, you're just fucking loser, you know. And obviously if I get hurt by insults, I am a loser. I shouldn't be hurt by insults. I'm just hurt that everyone is trying so hard. So hard. They can't just help themselves. If I if I make good art when I talk about Disney, apparently that's that's good art when I'm talking about uh bigger art, then I'm making small art that's also respectable. No one says a thing, no one fucking types in a single comment. When I do something good, no comment. When I do something questionable, Everyone starts vomiting, projectile vomiting on me. Everyone's trying to beat quality with quantity and always lose that battle. But uh, if you keep leveling up, I mean, it's going to be more and more complicated for them. Because I also increase my quantity if you subscribe, and that will definitely intimidate a lot of people of like wait he is he has accumulated so many so much interest across the internet hmm it is not easy to make more subscribers guys it's not a snowball effect but it is exponential it's getting faster and faster but i have to improve my quality to start getting subscribers i have to have quality that's the beauty of uh, making YouTube videos. Everyone technically started at quality level. 
Well, not really. Everyone starts, it's quantity. Everyone starts just doing random things on YouTube. It doesn't matter. You know, you're the first one. You're the first one to notice that it's a good platform and, and that it offers certain things that allows you to do certain things. So you just do it. That's quantity. That's not exa exactly quality. That's not exactly art immediately being created. But people are trying to understand what is artistic? What YouTube is going to be known for, right? They're trying to explore. They're trying to quantify YouTube into a map. And then once the full extent of YouTube is explored, then you can Im improve quality. Then you can focus on quality. And everyone agrees on doing so. And only very recently YouTube has went into this level, I would say. Only when TikTok showed up with its quantity of things, a lot of things. Content, uh, I mean, uh, TikTok started spitting fire for how many TikToks, Tiki Talkies and TikTok creators they have and how many people got sucked into to TikTok. So YouTube has matured and TikTok is a new kid on the block. It's just a wonderful topic to talk about. It's just endless. And Sabrina got it, fucking captured it for me somehow with a shitty album, right? Not even what? me with my... Or you can care about the quantity that you have produced. So if you produce the music, you can, whenever you feel like, you can remix. You can make a music video on top of that. So, But that's still quality, right? But the way you actually bump quality without even interacting with your content is by organizing it. You never lose quantity. That you always uh, store it properly and you have full access to it. Uh, it's like building a library of things. Now, I, you have to let go of some things. Some things become less and less important in your life. It's a tough one. Yeah, this is uh, the good memory problem. If you have a good memory of things, it allows you to live higher quality life. This is why you also have to carefully organize and store things and make sure nothing gets deleted by accidents. That's pretty lame. Sometimes you can use other people as storage. And then they start complaining about Mandela effects of like, oh, I don't remember it being that way. <laughs> okay. We can actually attract rich people and give them something good. We can help them as well. You know, well, what do you want, guys? Because we need to help ourselves with helping you. But, you know, we need those win-win moments. Yeah, how do we sell those monkey NFTs again to rich people? Let's figure it out again. I want a good deal. And it's almost like a yeah, I'll be selling digital dollars, bro, on my computer. Justin Bieber, buy this for a uh, million dollars. I can't wait to invent another way to leech. To up, I remind you guys, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm trying to educate people. I'm trying to sit here and educate myself at the same time, and try to keep up, basically. Maybe that's a clue to um, the third word, uh, value or something. Uh, if, and the best thing to care about. Is yeah, qualify. You can post every day. You can post even more times a day, but quality qualifies your content for other people to watch as well. That's very important. But you should not be manipulated too much. How do you find balance, right? of qualifying too much of your self. You would hope it's just natural progress. Clips of YouTube videos. Just allow us to clip our YouTube videos. Oh no, oh, it's so complicated. I want to look just like TikTok. What the fucking dick sucker is that? Yeah, what I'm saying is that we should be able to go to the next video very easily. Yes, there's recommended. Which video is gonna be next? What if I just wanna scroll through just like in TikTok, just like next, 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 next. I have to click this tiny button. All right, cool. So YouTube Shorts gets invented where you can in fact scroll to the next one. And it's uh, a little bit easier to navigate, but the problem is it's short videos and they're vertical. We're on YouTube, we, we use the website here. Why you give me vertical videos? They wanted to capitalize on it. And they failed miserably because that's that's taken. First of all, it's not exclusive, and uh, there's so many problems with YouTube Shorts. So many problems. I would I would rather scroll through just random videos, see what I like, you know, what random creators I like. Because if I like a single creator, I'll be able to subscribe to tons of content. I'll find it myself. 
So they fucked it up with the YouTube uh, shorts for sure. I went into a little bit of uh, a rant. Dick sucker, dude. Holy shit, man. Let's take over the world. Wait, this was just for God. illegal. I forgot I have YouTube search. Kitty cats. Let's go, bro. Wow. They will kind of enjoy it. Yeah, public is always going to look for quantity. Jury is going to look for quality. Is that my way of thinking? Because Eurovision splits public and jury. But when it comes to art, you want quality, right? Well, the public actually likes quantity. Likes how many people would care about this thing? That's the way they're thinking of how many people are going to be impacted by this satanic ritual on stage. Like, how many women would find this man attractive who's, like, screaming into a microphone? And he's from France and all that shit. Like, that's what people are doing. They're quantifying, not qualifying content. They're quantifying. That's very interesting to me. Because that's why I, I want more subscribers. More! <laughs> I will ask more more viciously because i cannot quantify my content because that's the most basic bullshit that's the most basic bitch behavior but i still have to ask for it you know because you can do it i cannot press subscribe to myself i wish i could i would watch my videos all the time <laughs> if i could even have a all right let's do a break so i guess I, i'll just reward myself look at this chocolate box guys isn't that awesome? For all this hard work, for listening to myself. Yes. I like forever and ever. Is, is that an insight in there? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know. Fucking like, uh... Forbidden fruit levels of knowledge being thrown at you in this song. That's what all the girls would do if they would like you. Now you know. That's pretty crazy. That's true. You'll just have to what is this? Some kind of lesbian thing? There were two girls in a thumbnail for a reason. That's disgusting. Time you breathe is there, just know. What the fucking twisted shit is this? Is that the ex behavior? Like, oh, I've been with this guy. You can do it too. Wow. <laughs> Yay, she will share. Okay, now I see the full idea behind the song. You'll have to taste me too if you're going with that guy that I've been with. I don't know how that works, but. Cool. I mean, it is like you get entangled into someone's life and the taste remains, the flavor somewhere lingers all over. You will be bothered for sure if someone has evil exes. So do we have like secrets being revealed? Why she goes so old school with everything? Is that the mom vibes? I will do what my mom did. Because she did what my, her mom did. To attract guys. Is that what's going on? Yeah, couldn't pay attention to whatever she's singing in that song. This is where she stabs the audience. Like... Normally, it's a love song, right? You're gonna sing about a dude. Nope. Wife. Reveal. Wife reveal in the middle of the song. I'm trying. I'm trying to listen as if it's, like, for me. And now I get fucking stabbed in the face. Yeah, like, wh wh where did the wife come from? I don't understand. I guess if... A man was a woman, it would make a great wife. It's fucking hell. I hate it, man. I hate that shit. 
But it, it would make you a great woman, though, right? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what they quantify, what the NPCs quantify to turn themselves into uh, different gender. Probably insanity, they quantify that. Like, that's the question when you encountering NPC ideas. What are they quantifying? Because there's always something that you can identify that is being quantified, but it's not exactly obvious. There has to be some kind of virtue, some kind of behavior that allows you to transform. Normally, it's just insanity. But insanity has to be defined properly. For that reason, it has to fit. Very interesting. And that that's the insight I got from one word that tripped me over. What a witch crap. What? Now I don't care anymore. Just like you talk like one. Wait, leave like one? Alright, I'm confused. Your car drove itself from LA to her it happens, bro. It happens way too often. That's why I don't own a car. What's it then? Yeah, she has such a soft voice that it doesn't make for good music. And, uh, tries to make some kind of smart ideas in her songs. I don't know, man. So the first one was a, definitely a knock. A knockout of uh, interesting shit being said. The rest, though? I I lost the meaning. But let's just keep going. Some people. I like it. I like the Jerry public split because it's different. It's two different things. One looks into quality and looks... Another looks into quantity. I'm very interested in that shit. Being split and doing its own thing. I'll take a real break now. Heat. I'm not perfect. But I feel qualified. This fucking shit, bro. This shit exploding. This is a whole next level of YouTube history because uh, anyone can make a channel if there's a celebrity. Anyone can do it as long as they have an idea of how to kickstart themselves. Selena can do it. Can do a different vibe like this. This shows how to fucking uh, kick the ball. And there's a tiny window of opportunity to be the best of the best. Even better than Ronaldo for all these crazy celebrities. They can actually do it. Do the same thing. Because Ronaldo, like, he represents a lot of people. But it's just a spiritual sort of stance. Like, it's very generic. And I will subscribe, but I might switch, you know? I might switch and support someone else. If they uh, try and, you know beat it because only a handful of people can actually do it a handful of super elite celebrities you know i don't know if it's a tiny chance because it's all men's game in a way i just love the idea though so i'm i'm just discovering this like breaking news fucking crazy growing channel in just a day Day 32 million. Two days, let's say. Fuck, fucked up, for sure. Yeah, that is fucked up, man. I just hit hit the goal. That's not the case. It's equal power level, basically. And the feelings come first. Yeah, but at some point you filled up the feelings, and now you have to go upwards, and when you go upwards through the barrier, everything changes. You can't just trust your feelings. You have to do something. You have to do something that expresses your feelings, that encapsulates your feelings. That's where art comes into place. It tries to save the progress. It's fascinating. 
Every single video that everyone made on the platform on YouTube is to save the feelings that they have accumulated, express and save at the same time, but mostly save for anyone who actually cares the most for the chance, you know. You build a statue to find the person who cares the most. Pinpoint. I see it's equal, but I don't think it's equal. Just quantifying things, just multiplying things over and over again. That's a great superpower. But when it comes to quality, you don't need none of that. You need a good base. You know, less than three. And now you can put over here. The power is better than multiplication. So much better. Here you have 3K. Here you have some crazy amount. Even this is more than 3K. And that's the beauty of it, right? We found a more beautiful expression. More artistic way to express something that we would naturally use. An expression that we use many times. 3 to the power of 10 is... 59,000. It is 20 times more powerful than this. 20 times. There's another way to look at it. A crossword, right? You just type in a bunch of letters randomly, generate, and now you're looking for words in different various ways. And you can find more words with more letters and potentially 20 times more then there are letters. Of course, you have to stretch the methods of how you find and generate these words, but uh, it's up to you to find a rule that makes sense. That's where the art comes into place. A rule that makes sense that would uh, everyone would agree of like, yeah, that's that's a word. You found the word. So while people can place down a bunch of A's and a bunch of B's and uh, multiply those letters all across the internet, it's up to you to find something greater that connects them all together into something more coherent and more powerful. That yet again, most people uh, uh, agree that's a word and not just tiny little uh, resource of a letter. But then we can go further. We can form sentences. We can form entire uh, stories, right? We can level up two more times, it seems. But what do we do? What do we do? Well, what's the expression if we level up? Let's find out. I don't know. Anything that is also... What is it? What is it, bro? Just as how... I actually mentioned that... Fucking value. So boring. But uh, not exactly. See, the funny thing is, people have done it too. They used it as a heart and said, we can define the value. This is not less than three, which would be 2.999 if you squeeze. We can say that the heart is equal to whatever we want. We want to be modest, so we say 69, right? And 69 is yet again 20 times more powerful than uh, the previous. That's the value. That's the V. Wow, this that's crazy, bro. We're unlocking the universe, guys. I'm going to glitch myself. That's way too OP. I've only glitched myself one other time and I don't remember, but this is definitely one of those times. And that is, that is so fucking mind blowing to me. You know, I realized that that's not how math works. Yes, three went into 69, which is 20 times more powerful. So technically you could have chosen value or you could have chosen this. Combining these two together is a whole nother fucking story. How can you, how can you put power here? 
why is it branching? This is another fucking weird thing. Quality and value is the same thing. Mathematic. Maybe I got sucked into the wrong thing, bro. Maybe it's a mistake. Because obviously 69 to the power of 10 is insane. I don't want to type it in. It's too insane. It's not 20 times more powerful. It's this with 18 zeros. Two with 18 zeros. What the fuck is that? It's one of those moments when I, I saw what I wanted to see and I fucked everything up. Can I do that? Can I do less than three? No. That would be six times more powerful. No, obviously if I put this here as a heart, that would be pretty insane, you know? And obviously if I'm looking for 20 times exactly, that's the pattern that I love, like, it was like a simple exponential thing, just like word into, or letter into a word, just like seven letters, seven words can make a good sentence, that sort of vibe of exponential growth that still uses the same number to grow, but maybe I picked the wrong path, even though it felt like fucking groundbreaking what would be 20 times more power? what's the definition of a heart that would be 20 times more powerful is it four is it four though that would be so cool is it four yes we ended up three with 10 that right a million if i do four and ten we get a million holy shit so now the only question is uh what's the next step the question is so i glitched the system unglitched the system and i glitched it back up again in the most fucking appropriate way because i love number or the most out of all the things now where do you see a four here i don't know three corners like it's just a triangle but it's filled in that's how i see it you just have a cup defined just definition slightly increased i think i can afford it i think everyone would say that okay you can go from three to a four the universe is not gonna break. And we did it. We did that. We got what we deserved. That is so fucking cool. And obviously going 20 times more, finding that special fucking key to go 20 times more. Someone else can do it. I'm done. That was my moment. And what if you want I have a math problem. Unsolved math problem, guys. To fill it up. What does that fucking mean? Qual yes, we're gonna call it Qualio. Hey guys, value. Quality loading is also. Yeah, the the idea of value, the going next step is to make sure that the word that you are coming up with is useful. That you can put it to use. You don't just conjure and everyone agrees of like yes, it's a word, but the word has to hold meaning, hold deep meaning. What is the best word? You know. But, but which one is the best? That is the question. Like, you find the best word in this box. It probably is the box. You know, that's the best word. But why? It's just the box. That's what it is. It's self-defined, which is cool. Can we do better? And so everyone's just kind of like, oh, it's sad. A <laughs> sad box. Sandbox? We don't have sand. It's that sort of fucking playgrounds feeling. I, I love that shit. You're all I want to do every single time is improve just a little bit. That's all that matters. Mind that it was both accessible. I want to do FF to symbolize quantity. You would do like this. 
Those are F's too, right? <laughs> but they're garbage. And then you have the quality, the decided F, decided format. Right. So, it, I mean, technically these are ugly. It seems like these are Because when we find the quality of something, we copy and paste that shit as well. We try to quantify it. It's not easy because now you have to learn. But uh, when something is achieved, you know, people can achieve it faster and faster every single time. See, Mr. Beast is dealing with quality issues. PewDiePie dealt with quantity issues of like what it takes to upload every single day. Even when you are a brain dead piece of shit, you know, what does it take? Okay, I need a girlfriend. Got it. <laughs> I need to react to funny things because uh, everyone loves funny things. All right, got it. And I have to have a history of being scared. So uh, I'll just play some scary video games because everything is scary and I have to like that I'm legit. That's the history of PewDiePie, bro. Quantity. Force yourself into an uncomfortable situation of making YouTube videos every single day and find the way to do it. And then he retires right after Mr. Beast grows into power to deal with quality. But there's another word, just like we discovered, there's value. Again, value means that you can have a pair of shoes doesn't mean that they will fit you. They could be the best quality ever. Doesn't mean that you need a pair of shoes. The value is to find where the fucking shoe is supposed to go in the world so it fits. And it is useful pair of shoes. That's the whole thing to find. Like you are a human being. You should be working. You should not be lazy scrolling TikTok. You should be doing something productive. I need to find a place for you where you are the most productive. That's my job as a YouTube CEO is to connect you to value. And technically, it is qualify, which is not quantify. But yeah, it's quality. It's quality, qualify you for something but it's it's a weird thing i don't think there's a qua way to explain it anymore i think it's a different dimension 21st place and a place in my council she dropped it 20 seconds 30 seconds from 30 from 21st to 30 seconds opportunity too that's so funny like uh maybe america has celebrities because they turn off the lights, and we don't. In Europe, we have fast internet. Haha! <laughs> no, randomly paired up. Not a single one uh, survived, bro. No Neo, no Geo. No Tweet Demic, bro. No Culpas, bro. They all fallen. Even this guy fallen. Everyone fallen, bro. As the petition, Except so this art inspector, I guess. Try to. But um, he's not relevant. The tar has fallen. Max time. We have to actually show the. I'm doing way too much mental math here. I don't know if it's going anywhere. Technically, but it doesn't provide any moral value. Well, looking at memes, you get to uh, harvest an idea of. Yeah, yeah neither Mr. Beast nor uh, PewDiePie actually cared about value of things, whether it's useful for people. It's genuinely gonna make them more productive. Meaning that you will get genuine money, genuine clean money from them. Clean profits they will share with you because they became more productive. So they should share 10%, 20%, put it aside, send it to you, send the gift, let you know that you own this and that and whatnot. This much value, you can harvest it. You know, that's what should happen. If you are a powerful leader, you're going to make people more productive and people are going to be thankful across the world, making better decisions in their life and deciding to reward you because, you know, 
the push through their problems what? because of you. So they should feel grateful. That's when you know you're a good leader when people start doing that. You, with your and again, Mr. Beast nor PewDiePie can't really truly really inspire people to be better. They can't inspire people to be YouTubers. Mr. Beast can only inspire you to be a YouTuber because you can earn money. Maybe. Because it's a lottery and you never know. But if you put enough effort, if you put it, buy enough lottery tickets, you can do it. Maybe it's going to work for you. I don't know. I can personally decide if you should pursue YouTube or there's, there's something better you can do. Because we're always going to look for something better, but, you know. Maybe you you kind of have to go all in on something. It's a big deal. Maybe there's a fourth one because someone bigger than Mr. Beast is gonna pop pop their head out. I would love to coach Ariana to become the the third person to beat Mr. Ar Arinaldo. We got Arinaldo instead. Maybe again, there's a chance that there can be a hijack of someone else steps in into this uh, conveyor belt and tries to uh, fight for the spotlight. It's just the same and it's like now you have to vote now you have to decide between the two rising to fame people mr. Beast. whoever is going to replace mr beast I, I wish something like that would happen for fuck's sake all of a sudden because again celebrities not youtubers they have an opportunity to be youtubers to go all in and get even more attention than ever before that's what's happening that's fucked up man we just glitched again how the fuck did that happen? We glitch once more. That's how easy it is. In one video, twice. Since the good ones are deceased or taken, I'll just. Um, are you sure? Good ones for NPCs. Weak souls would, you know. High levels of patience to stupid, stupid shit of life. Those are the ones taken. 25 year old sings up like everyone's taken. Yeah, I think someone just took a chunk of your brain, you know. It's a flex of power. Like women have insane amount of power of just saying yes. And that's my husband now. You know, they just have to say yes. Men have to flex to the level that they get this, uh, the answer of yes. Some men flex by force. Some f hurt themselves by doing so. You know. Some fake it, pretty much. And reveal that, oh shit, oh shit, just, everything just collapsed. All my flex just collapsed. But at least he said yes. There's all the strategies, but the best strategy is to be yourself, funny enough, crazy. Right? I don't know, she gives that vibe of like, I, there's nothing new under the sun, it's all old school, everyone been through the same old stories, bro. But at the same time, a good one's taken, yeah, then it's not the same story. It's the same story for everyone else. And you can uh, grab your fixes, whatever you like, I guess. Gay awakening, fun that. Yeah, it's definitely one of those moments where, oh, while I'm a bitch, I'm gonna fucking look pretty and talk about the sex thing. And then eventually the dark ages come settling in. And then you try not to look pretty at all, not to be attractive. Not to be lovable. Sometimes it gets really fucking dark when the lights turn off. But yeah, that's that's her phase right now. The the really hot before it gets cold. Fucking a rich person exploring sex. Here you go. It's fascinating to me, isn't it? Rich people have so much power they can actually involve other people into their lives because other people salivate over. Richness and fortune and all that shit and fame. They won those things. So 
you know, you get entangled in the spider's web because you want it too much. And here you go, she can get her sex thing. Wow. It's very expensive, guys. So expensive, in fact, that LGBTQ was invented just to generate more sex. That's it. That's the whole fucking reason. There's no other reason. There's no love thing that they have invented. They're just desperately trying to generate more sex. That's what American culture is all about. It's all figured out. I mean, but I just uh, pin it in a very uh, painful way. I know it because in Europe, you simply don't have that thing. So every time I see these, like, it's a little bit more crazy seeing different culture entirely. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I can put it in my fucking... <laughs> let's, let's call it asshole for now. Anyways, I need to finish my video, guys. Finish watching it. I'm watching my own video. I'm entertained, guys. I did like Vicious. Bitch, you love me now. I liked it, too. I don't like neither of these melodically at all. Too much country vibes. It's it is what it is, right? America is a land of wishes. So you have to fulfill as many wishes as you can, which often ends up having sex with a bunch of fucking women, right? That sort of stuff. But you have to grab things that are available to you instead of grabbing celebrities that are not available. That's what I'm not doing, because I'm not American, and I don't have to follow those fucking rules. If you end up liking Taylor Swift and having sex with her, that's what people tell me. That's what fucking Americans tell me. It's like, well, you're never going to have sex with this and that celebrity. And it's like, okay, I can talk to them, though, eventually. There's a chance I can talk to someone who knows Taylor Swift very well. Who the fuck knows what happens when I reach from my point of view? Because I take responsibilities, bro. I sit here, I work. I listen to their every word and try to understand it fully. What the fuck? I was about to say it's like, cool song, maybe we can evaluate this one. This is the horniest shit ever, bro. Okay. Now, now I get it. Now I get it why we don't want to just listen to the songs, because fucking hypnosis bullshit. We'll see about that. It's one of those, um, celebrity advertisements of like, adore me, chase me, give me more followers. Ugh. But now if someone is too horny, they're greedy now. It's always one step forward with Americans. You can't... Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot. But you can change spots, you know? That's the whole point. You can scam people in different spots in different ways. So you keep moving forward. The American is a scam life, basically, that keeps moving forward. And scams with different styles and you have to keep adapting yourself, so yeah. Sabrina doing that, so she's not horny, she's just scamming you to be horny, but she doesn't give a fuck anymore. Ah, yes, the clown suit is not one quality, it's quantity, it's how many people will actually notice you because you put on the clown suits, but there's no quality in there. Yeah, you can juggle balls and stuff, like, you kind of have to do something to justify your existence as a clown. But not exactly. Just do funny shit. Yeah, that's quantity. It's very interesting, the quantity celebrities. You know, quantity celebrities is anyone who shows up on America's Gone ta Got Talent. <laughs> gone, ta gone Talent, bro. Stupid... Way to think of... Wow, she did it. Wow, dude, do your thing. Yeah, any invention needs value, most importantly, obviously. You have to invent something that's valuable. Then you improve the quality, and then you start quantifying to everyone. That's just how it works. Virtual reality, yeah, you can improve upon it, but 
quantifying didn't work. Not everyone wants to buy this shit. I don't want to buy it. I just like screens. What exponential, but not that. If you increase value to a certain point, it becomes unreal. Huh. Eating. Sabrina is a weird anomaly in my system because she's at 10,000. She's kind of like the eighth one or seventh one to do it, maybe ninth one. But it's only Dove, like she's active right now and she couldn't get 10,000 points. Sabrina is so young, so fucking tiny. And is crushing all the numbers. I don't understand. I try to. It's always X, X, Y, Z and time. I think the fourth thing is time. It's just speed. Ability to deliver value very fast. Sounds like quality. Sounds like a specific thing. No, speed, bro. Like, speed is so valuable. Maybe it's beyond golds. Maybe speed running life is just something that... that inspires you to improve in every single way make sure that the value is optimized that is crazy right so that's something to think about i'm not gonna dive deep anymore we're past an hour the video is over let's finish this up i also like the word unity in this case unite all the values together to form an ecosystem of value but it's hard to understand Here now to deliver what I'm talking about. With the when I say speed, I think the real word is efficiency. You can make efficiency, which would make it into its own category of like you, you have to use the most efficient resources, put it in the, the most efficient way, the fastest way, all of these like super weird qualities. Quality? No. I mean, I use words that I can't use anymore, and it's so weird, because I have to enca encapsulate. It's so weird. Now I have to see, like, the reach of the product, the power level of the product. Also depends on a fourth key that you start unlocking efficiency. You putting the object in the right place, you know how to improve the quality, you know how to copy and paste the object. The last thing to do is efficiency i watched it holy crap so yeah efficiency in the yeah this world of goo idea that i have for a game and i have this for a game and i feel like i know what the next step is where it's gonna go that's all i can say it's gonna be very interesting if i pull it off yeah, the most energy, the most hoardiness. That's pretty sad, because I don't know if I can handle that shit. Last song. I'm gonna say goodbye. Oh, here comes the video. I've never seen violence in music videos. So... Uh. My god, the generosity we just witnessed. Technically, we have two good songs in uh, all the vibe was killed by the music video. That's cool. It seems that just Sabrina piled her impaled body on top of uh, everyone else being secretly evil. Uh, who would have saw that coming, bro? Also, I don't care about her music that much. But I will evaluate this song. I probably should put it in the candidates now. It's fucking garbage. Anyways, there's no value in here except whatever I was talking about. So I saved you the trouble. <laughs>